नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी मार्केट इंडाइसिस दिस इज रिलेटिवली स्मॉल टॉपिक वी शुड बी एबल टू फिनिश फास्टर वॉट इज ए इंडेक्स सो इट इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एन एसेट क्लास मार्केट और सेगमेंट ऑफ मार्केट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेंबर दैट इट इज अ हाइपोथेटिकल पोर्टफोलियो देन लर्निंग आउटकम बी प्राइज रिटर्न एंड टोटल रिटर्न ऑफ द इंडेक्स सो इन प्राइज रिटर्न वी जस्ट कंसिडर कैपिटल एप्रिसिएशन वेर एज इन टोटल रिटर्न वी कंसिडर prices as well as the income which could be dividend so here just the prices here prices and income then choices and issues in index construction management so if you are uh, creating an index what areas what are the choices that you need to make so number one what target market do you do you want to create an index let's say for uh, equity markets within equity what type of investors then which securities to include what is the weights you are going to use are you going to give them same weights equal weights or price weighted how frequently to rebalance and how frequently to reexamine these are the five decisions that you need to take as a index provider then different different weighting mechanism so price weighted equal weighted market cap weighted and fundamental weighted now within each of them we can have two types of index a price return and a total return index so when we did the session originally we discussed that uh, there is an easier way through which we can remember the formula if you remember sequence so when you dealing with price weighted index first calculate average price then calculate percentage change when you dealing with equal weighted first calculate percentage change then calculate average price market cap first calculate market cap here and then calculate percentage change fundamental weighted so weights based on some fundamentals such as earning dividends or cash flow now we know that each one of these could either be price or it could be total so we have a nice example here so we quickly can run through the numbers i would recommend you do this uh, actively you keep your calculator handy when you are doing this so we have pricing at time 0 and time 1 we have dividend per share for these stocks and we have quantity of these shares okay so the first thing that we do is let's calculate the uh, price weighted return and let's do price weighted price return so two steps step number 1 calculate average price or total price and step number 2 calculate the percentage change so look at this on an average the price of these numbers would come out to be 130 and on an average the prices of these numbers would come out to be 137.5 So from 130, it became 137.5. Are you cross-checking this? From 130, it became 137.5. So your price return is 5.77. So what do we call this? We'll call this as price weighted price return. If we also consider the dividend here, so in the numerator we say 137 as well as 2.5 divided by the original price. then we will call this as price weighted total return so price weighted price return price weighted total return equal weighted remember the flow chart sequence gets inverted equal weighted we do the percentage change first then we do the average price okay so look at this now 100 became 140 that's 40% 120 became 80 that's minus 33.33 so we calculate percentage change and then we calculate an average that's equal weighted price return harmita you following this if you also consider percentage price with the dividends for example 100 became 140 and we received a dividend of 5 
so that's a percentage delta of 45 so if you take these numbers and calculate an average then that would be price equal weighted total return then market cap so market cap is calculated as the current price into the quantity so 100 into 10,000 that's the market cap here market cap here 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 then you take an average of is this given as average I think it's a total it's a total so it doesn't matter because yeah percentage delta of average or total will come out to be same so you take a total of these you take a total of market cap at time 1 you calculate percentage delta so closing by opening minus 1 is percentage delta minus 1.38 and if you also consider the dividend of 170 total dividend then it will be 1.23 so 6 different type of index calculations will you be able to handle this ok then in a price weighted index denominator must be adjusted for stock splits remember this price weighted index we have to make adjustment to the denominator for stock splits equal weighted requires most frequent rebalancing because the meaning of equal weighted is you have put in let's say hundred dollars in each of the stock you bought shares of hundred dollars each so equal weight now if the price of the stock goes up of course the weights are not going to remain equal one might become 101 other might become 99 so you sell that extra one of the first and put that into 99 but you ensure that weights are same at any point of time so most frequent rebalancing market cap weighted is also known as value weighted index and then there are two types of uh, varieties here there could be a market float and there could be a free float so in a market float you are removing the shares held by controlling shareholders ok so so there are total 100 shares out of which 25 is held by the promoter and 75 is held by the public so when you calculate market cap you take all 100 but when you calculate the market float you will consider only these 75 shares excluding shares by the controlling shareholders is that okay and out of this 75 let us say 10 are not available for foreign buyers only 60 are available for foreign buyers for whatever reason legal reason compliances reason so then we will call those 65 as free float so what is a free float free float is market float minus number of shares which are not available to the foreign buyer so remember the difference between the two then learning outcome f rebalancing and reconstitution rebalancing means uh, changing the weights based on the requirement so we discussed equal weighted index requires most frequent rebalancing reconstitution means changing the composition of the securities adding the new share removing an old share so adding or deleting a security and adjusting the weights then learning outcome G what are the uses of security market indices reflection of the market sentiment benchmark of manager performance measure of market return measure of beta and excess return modern portfolio for index funds ok so so there could again be theory question asking which one of the following is not uses of a security market ok and they might play around so you need to remember this excess return is RM minus RF correct so that is the numerator of your sharp ratio return on markets minus the risk free security then types of equity indices so we can have a broad market indices right so in India a nifty or a sensex is a broad market usually contains 
not necessary you don't need to remember this 90% rather we can say usually contains a, a large component of market's total value correct like in india nifty 50 represents a big chunk of the total valuation that we have in the market then multi market index a multi market index would mean for example let's say an index for emerging economies or index for southeast asian economies so two three countries together multi market index it is used to measure equity returns of some particular geographic location it contains the indexes of several countries are we doing okay here we are looking at different type of indexes then multi market index with fundamental weighting so you will use market cap within a country's market but weight the countries using some fundamental factor for example uh, if you have country a if you have country a country b and country c country a has this year given a return of 15 12 and country c has given a return of 10 now question is when i calculated return which type of index did i use so read the first part of this sentence use market cap for within the market so that means this must have been some sort of a market cap index returns within the country but how much weight should i allocate to country a how much weight should i allocate to country b that could be decided maybe based on let's say gdp so we can say gdp of country a as a ratio to total gdp of three countries and gdp of country b as a ratio to total gdp gdp of country c as a ratio to total gdp so second sentence weight the countries within the global index by some sort of a fundamental factor moving on sector index it will measure the return of a particular sector example could be pharmaceutical style index either value or growth some of the value stock characteristics value stocks are low price to earning low price to book value high dividend yield and low debt on the balance sheet these are the some of the characteristics of value stocks then types of fixed income indices so we know that there is a broad variety in fixed income index world it could be classified based on issuer collateral coupon maturity default and inflation protection that universe is much broader fixed income universe is much broader than the equity universe since fixed income securities mature they must be replaced with the newer ones and therefore there is a high turnover right so we discussed that why fixed income indices have a higher turnover than equity that's because security is mature so you have to constantly remove the ones which have matured and add new ones fixed income securities are primarily traded by dealers so index providers have to depend on dealers for recent prices so when you want to create an index you need the recent prices you have to fetch that data from the dealers learning outcome j indexes for alternative investments let me invert the cycle from starting from the right h for index what we are going to remember generally they are equally weighted okay now why because it's difficult to calculate market cap of a hedge fund because they take so much of leverage are you following this and it doesn't make sense to calculate the price because an investor wouldn't buy one unit of hedge fund we know that it's only for high ticket ind individuals so most appropriate index for hedge funds is typically equally weighted you give same weights to each of the constituents they exhibit upward bias because of upward bias in returns because of survivorship bias only the funds which have survived will remain a part of the index then real estate index so let's say you want to know what are the returns you would have earned on the us real estate so you need an index 
Now this index could be best either based on appraisals or based on repeat property sales or based on REITs. Now appraisal means and maybe you can write down somewhere appraisal means valuation. Appraisal means valuation. Okay. And they provide a smoothening effect. I should say, I don't know if that's a smoothing effect. And they result in lower standard deviation what compared to what it actually is in real estate markets. Appraisal based indices. Appraisal means doing a valuation. So you have a portfolio of 100 real estate, hypothetical portfolio. So every quarter you can do a valuation. But because you're doing a valuation not using a market price, you kind of provide a more smoothened version of what the real estate true prices are and therefore lower standard deviation. Repeat property sales, that means the same property being sold again and again. A lot of times these indexes could be hedonic not necessarily these but just write the word somewhere here some of the indexes could be hedonic and hedonic would mean after adjusting for quality adjusting for quality after adjusting for quality it's like think of it this way we are in Bostonagar area we want to know what is the uh, apartment prices on a per square foot basis for last few years so last year we look, looked at a property we took a price this year we look, look at a property but is it possible that the quality of the two properties could be different correct so then the rates could be different because of the quality and not because of the general movement so when you make that adjustment we use the word hedonic is that okay and then there could be an index based on REITs and REITs are nothing but shares so that index would be built like any other shares index. Commodity indexes, very important. Commodity indexes are based on the future prices, not the spot prices. Remember this for the exam. Commodity indexes are not made using the spots, they are made using the futures. And linking this a little bit with alternative, you will earn returns through collateral yield, you will earn returns through roll yield and you will earn returns through the movement of price, price yield or spot movement. Learning outcome K, types of security market indices. So we can classify them either based on geographical location, right? The markets for world, indices for world, indices for Middle East, indices for Asia, North America, South America, sector, pharmaceutical, IT, banking, level of economic development, emerging, developed, fundamental factors, value stocks or growth stocks. So out of these topics, the one that I would have liked to revise, we could give the A and B and C maybe, at least I would give them a miss but I would want to revise this particular learning outcome a day before the exams learning outcome D and E then uh, I would make sure that I know this part on the day of exam price weighted denominator adjustment and you know, all those things and then Maybe I would also revise uh, this learning outcome because you need to remember some stuff here. Especially you should be able to remember this part, this part, this part and appraisals providing low, lower volatility than what it really is. You should be able to remember this.